Scarlett, how many nuts are over here? Six. Here. Six. Here. Six. And what about over here? Six. And in the middle, there's four, correct? Yes. Now, if I move this here and this here, how many nuts are here? Six. Here. Six. Here. Six. What about here? Six. And there's three in the middle. Now, if I move this here and that there, how many nuts are over here? Six. Here. Six. Here. Six. And here. Six. Okay, and there's two in the middle. Now, if I move this here and this here, how many nuts are here? Six. What about here? Six. Here. Six. And there. Six. And now there's one in the middle. Now, if I move this here and this here, how many nuts are here? Six. Here. Six. What about here? Six. And here. Six. Now tell me how many is in the middle. Wait, what? Where'd they all go? They didn't go anywhere. They stayed on the paper the entire time. He's counting the corners twice. That's the gist of it. If you watch the video back, you'll see that he starts with two nuts on each corner. And then by the end of the video, he has one nut on each corner and he's added the ones from the middle. Remember, there are 20 nuts on the paper the entire time. That never changes. But because the corners are counted twice and the middle is counted once, you can add nuts successfully while making internal adjustments to offset the discrepancy, which will give you the same number on the edges every single time. Hope that helps.